these items. Uh, and I gotta go all the way to the right. That's the other one I'm super excited for. Wizard Staff. Drains MP and provides double growth. Man, I don't know. Just that... That Restore HP is just such a good freaking item. Or a good weapon. There's another one to spare it. Where's his all? What did I do with his all? Spiky hell. How do I get to... How do I get blade beam? Cloud's killed more than enough. Kill enemies with cross slash? Is that different? Oh, oh, I lost it because I did that. Dang. Okay, well, let's give you. So right now you have what? Ice, Quake, and Haste. And she has ice. Let's get rid of Bolt for you. Let's give you... Fire. We have Ice. Fire, Ice, and Earth. And we'll swap you out for Bolt. Actually, no, that's a bad idea. Since you really can't hurt anybody. We'll keep Ice. Let's see how levels up. We'll swap that out. Go to the right. Nice parallaxing in the background. Huh. And a vaccine! Have you taken your vaccines? Turbo ether. Oh no, I didn't need to fall. I thought I pressed OK in time. Oh well. <clears throat> Command counter. Oh, counterattack with paired command. I feel like I need to get the enemy skill back in here. Let me do that. Let me get rid of fire. <clears throat> it's up, right? We need to go up first. I think we need to go up first. Yeah. Ah! Natural magic. Ugh. 
<clears throat> that gives him the only all magic. That's fine, though. Try to leave Tick and see what that does for everybody. Doesn't that put everybody in Berserk, though? Ooh, haste and high evasion. Nope. I like it. hitting harder, but I guess he's not. <laughs> sitting hard on those things, that's for sure. Nope, don't feel that. Natural magic. Maybe this is in the back row. It's just weak against the uh, magic. like a first little glimpse at the fact that he's like really claustrophobic. Is this a more, is this mod a more accurate translation or is this just somebody who like is, or did Sega Chief just like put a lot of thought and effort into just the small little nuanced dialogue? I'm gonna try it. If he just put a lot into the nuanced dialogue, that's freaking great. Because it just, it like hints at just these great little, small little nuggets. Yeah, but it's, it's, they're, they're so good. They're so well placed. It's, it feels more natural. It feels like it was meant to be there. I 
know this next area used to be the area that I sit and level up all my magic. The Coral Prison, when I'd level up all my magic to level 2. And then Mount Nebel, I'd level everything up to level 3. But I don't think I can do that in this game. Or in this mod. I liked it when they released the... Ooh. make grinding so much easier. Seed shot. Oh. Surprise Cloud still has his, uh, sadness on from Genova. Was that? No, that wasn't from Genova. Because he died a lot in Genova. those uh, birds up there. They're like stupid super boss. And I think I remember from Death's playthrough there wasn't any um, you didn't get any benefit from it. You're gonna wind up in here. Look, I'm sorry, but I can't do a thing for you. Give me all your items. RPG logic if it was in the real world. You could just randomly go into anybody's house and take anything and they won't care. Yeah, actually, that's how I knew, that's how I found out about this mod. Actually, several years ago, I watched. Um, really? That was stupid. I watched. Um, I watched him play through this, but it was a different version of it. It was like the 1.2 or 1.3 version or something like that. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to run from this one. I don't wanna sit here and try and fight. I freaking ganged up on Eris. Yeah, and then I started to... Oh, right on, yeah. I've talked with him a little bit about editing videos for him and stuff like that. So, I support his channel. It's a good... Uh, I like the stuff that he does. Barrier. Cross slash. Oh no, why did I do that? This guy's only like... Damaging to magic. Bolt. Nice. Earthquake. Earthquake on a bridge. I love how this is like a wooden suspension bridge that a train is meant to be on. So scavenger mod, is that basically where like items are super super rare to find or bridge will hold, right? Scared of heights? A little bit. <clears throat> hey, no sweat. I'd catch you. You're so reliable. <laughs> heights don't bother me, human. I wonder if that would have been different with Tifa. Quake. Bolt. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. That's a cool concept. I like that. Oh, so close, Cloud. Are you gonna make it to where it's like you have to have specific items in order to beat them, or just those are the only items that you you have? Will it be materia? Ugh. Never thought I'd ever see your face again. So why'd you come crawling back? You get kicked out of another town? Wouldn't be surprised you destroy everything you touch. Got a lot of balls coming back here, Barrett. Look at this place. It's your fault that North Coral turned into a garbage heap. Well, why don't you say something? Or did you forget you've done all forget what you've done already? I'm sorry. Shit, you ain't even worth the effort. Don't waste your time talking to that techno freak. Poor Barrett. Oh, that's cool. So, like, you have the opportunity of being able to, like, find and steal and morph, like, some of the best equipment. Um, so it's kind of like a... What would be a good example? Like, essentially, like, those type of, um, challenge rooms to where it's, like, uh, floors where it's, like, each floor is a, is a new challenge or something like that, but done more, like, in a storyline progression. But if yours is mine, North Coral wound it up like this. Do you have the Force Stealer? Please buy something! Anything will do! That's cool. That'd be fun. What do you want? Buy. Tiny Frogs. Three. Maiden's Grace, Cornucopia. I'm so can worried about that as much as I'm worried about the whole frog thing. Let's get some frogs. That should be enough. Taking on Battle Square at the Sasa? I got a special custom weapon that, that you gotta buy if you wanna win. Ooh, this drains HP. I want it. I want it. Yeah. No, it'll be a cool challenge. Let's see, that drains HP. Lowers the attack, but... It makes it good. I like it. I like that a lot. What would I lose? I would lose enemy skill. I'm fine with that. Oh, I also lose my added effect. That's fine. Oh, I can put enemy skill back on them. I wonder if having the experience plus really helps at all. Oh god, yeah, that would suck. I had a hard drive fail on me. Well, get really close to failing, so I went out and, and bought a new one. I've had to reinstall Windows so many times on hard drives that once this one started to show like signs of death, I was like, mm-mm, I'm fixing this now. I need Echo Soft is what I need. I'm almost out of those. So I just now have that hard drive is like a I repurposed it as like a second backup so I have everything kind of backed up on one second hard drive and then I have the third hard drive that was the old one that I thought was dying that I use for like super cold storage and things that I'm just like I'm not too I like I don't really need that much but I used to kind of just put stuff on temporarily. 50 gill a night? Yeah! That's worth it. Have you played, um, Dissidia NT at all? 
I'm interested to see what other people think about it. I had it for a little while, um, but I ended up getting rid of it. Things going. You ever feel like mixing things up a bit? How about it? There's no going back. Nope. It's not staying on range. After that Genova fight? Hell no. Oh, really? I mean, it was fun, but at the same time, it just... It was a bit disappointing. And the characters that they've released as uh, the DLC characters haven't really been... Um, haven't really been exciting. Really, you're able to rip models from it? I need to know how to rip models. I would love to be able to... Let's just make it quick. I would love to be able to rip models because... There's a there's one game that I, I made um, that was like a uh, an enemy wave style where you get like a lot of you know you kill off a bunch of people and then a new wave come and I wanted to end with a boss fight of Cloud and I even had animations that would have worked for him. That's sick. Um, and I found a really cool cloud model, but whenever I brought it into Unreal, it was like super, super tiny, and I couldn't scale it up for whatever reason. So. It was all said it was done by a rebel faction. So they were like the. <clears throat> the Dissidia from. the PSP games, not the NT one. Midgar would be sick to pull Midgar from. But obviously Cloud was my main. When I started to get into Noctis, I really liked playing as Noctis. Go on. Let's get on. Noctis was a was a fun character. And like I said, it was fun, but it was just a little too. It was a little too chaotic, and there was way more. Some of the stages were just way too big. There wasn't good team communication. You had to be in a, a party chat. Ooh. I really like that cloud. The the NT cloud is my favorite looking cloud. I think that cloud is the closest thing to what the remake will look like. Like a cocktail model. I don't, I don't like the Mobius looking cloud. The Mobius cloud doesn't look good at all. Mobius cloud is like ugly. It looks like a really bad cosplay cap cloud. The Mobius cloud. <laughs> or not a bad cosplay, it looks like a good cosplay cloud. But enough that you know it's like, okay, that's not cloud. see this. Yeah, the hair. It's how the shaders are probably working on it. Alright, do I have to pay freaking... I don't! Yes. Can I rank up yet? Anybody else? No. Rocky's really close to ranking up. Though. Um, I think I did. I was browsing through it a little bit today. I was looking through, looking through uh, a lot of the stuff. I do like a lot of, I've seen a lot of the, um, the maps being remade. They're really cool. It's 300 gil, 30,000 gil. Let's pay 300. Thank you very much. Gold Saucer, your ticket becomes invalid. 
Sparkled Saucer, there are many places where you must pay with GP. Just think of GP as money that you can only use at Gold Saucer. Microtransactions. It's 10,000, so please be careful. That's cool. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's one of the things. I started to learn to model at one point using um, 3DS Max, but um, I didn't get very far. No cheery moods, just leave me alone. Because um, I wanted to start to use, try and integrate CG into my, um, into my videos. But uh, didn't really didn't really pan out. <laughs> um, so I'm really good at doing like environmental projection, and I can do like environment projection and things like that. Um, 3D projection. But when I got into Unreal, it, it was a little bit it was a lot more different for me because I could be able to find other assets and be able to build all the stuff that I want to do kind of just get right into animating and animating is really makes a lot of sense to me in Unreal. Messing around? Shit. <laughs> Why the hell are we even here? They built this ship around top of coral. <laughs> I think he's mad. He'll be fine. He seems to be doing a little better now. <laughs> you want to go with me? No. With me? No. Why should Sephiroth come here? Maybe we should just move on. Maybe we'll just forget everything and have fun. <clears throat> Texturing is hard. Doing the materials. But there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do. I just saw this really cool tutorial for Unreal that kind of has like a... A, um like a an appear and disappear type of effect that has like a, a an edge to it so it's like it's materializing and dematerializing let's see does it put us should we do who should we take with us um we'll just we'll just let the game pick wonder cloud it's gonna be yuffie uh don't go alone Yeah, world building is my favorite thing too. I love to to do um, level design and, and stuff like that. That's probably my favorite. How about it? Want me to read your fortune? A bright future, happy future. Oh, but don't hold it against me if it doesn't come true. Oh, so sorry. I'm a fortune teller machine. The names. Kichi. Oh really? Yeah, in the in the base game, in the vanilla game, Aerith is your um, it picks Aerith to go with you. <clears throat> you can only read the future. You kidding? I can find missing things, missing people, anything. Can you tell me where a man named Sephiroth is? Sephiroth, you say? Hmm. Okay, here goes. All right, here goes. It's not it's not like we have another lead. Given to the goodwill of others, and something big will happen after summer. Wait, hold on. Huh? Let me try again. Let's see, be careful of forgetfulness. Your lucky color is blue? Forget it. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> can do it like Morty. Oh jeez, Rick. <laughs> wait. Uh, wait. Give me another chance. Uh, wait. Uh, l l let let me try again. What the? What is it? Tell me. What you pursue will be yours, but you will lose something dear. Uh, I, I don't know if that's good or bad. 
It's the first time. It's the first time I ever got something like that's a hard voice to do. It'd be really loud. Then shall we? Huh? Being a fortune teller is gonna bug me. I don't see how it turns out. I'll never be able to relax, so uh, I'm going with you. He's weird, Cloud. Don't let him come. I'm coming with you no matter what you say. But hey, maybe this will sweeten the deal. <gasps> Ooh! Got 100 GP. <laughs> hey! Slowly regenerate MP, but when defending, the rate will greatly will be greatly increased and can exceed max MP. So I'm assuming his magic stat is... Shit. His magic stat is shit, is what it is. God, he's got so much health! A lot of luck. Let's just give him a ridiculous amount of luck. To to Jack. Oh, um, Jason Taylor, Jason Arnold Taylor. Listen to my story. Fun fact, he uh, was also the voice actor for Jack Sparrow in the Second Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that really terrible Jack Sparrow impression impersonation? That was him. Oh, really? That's cool. You know, <clears throat> Final Fantasy X wasn't my absolute favorite Final Fantasy, but once once I got older and I replayed it because I got the remaster on uh, PS3, um, I really liked it. I really got into the story. The story was something that really um, was uh, I feel was underrated. See, since he doesn't have, since he's got shit for stats. I feel like I need to give him stuff that's gonna increase his luck. Choke Lure. Do I have anything that will increase luck? Steel. Okay. Gives me minus luck. I'll do. We'll do the command counters. When he gets hit, he'll just automatically steal. We'll just make him the debuffer. How about that? Logomorph. Boomerang, magic plus 10, just got standard armor. Um, if you ever get the chance, you should play the, um, the HD remaster and do the international version. Really high dexterity. Decent magic, D, uh, subpar magic, subpar. Strength. <clears throat> Should I make her... If I do the Shinra beta... The International Sphere Grid was really something cool to play. I don't think... Strength or Magic. I'm gonna go with Strength. Well, actually, let's have her go with magic. Do the boomerang. Do magic. So I'll give her the all, cure, revive, 
lightning, earth. Clifford Chocomon. She's gonna have to cure all. I'll swap Cloud out for lightning. <clears throat> That's cool. I'd like to speedrun it. I'd like to speedrun anything, really. Um, I feel like trying to speedrun this, though, would be ambitious to start off. <laughs> Need to find something that's not as ambitious. This used to be the only one I could get GP at. Let's go to the battle. Let's just progress the story.